speech training. The first step is to understand how you can prepare your pitch. The classic approach for creating an effective pitch consists, uh, consists of uh, five points. Attention, introduction, problem, solution, and benefits. Classic, uh, classic points. So, the attention. The first step is uh, to get your audience att attention. You can do this by telling them a story, asking a question, you know, many things, classic things, okay? Then you make your introduction because once you have mm, captured your audience atten attention, it's time to introduce yourself and your business. So you should explain what you do, who you serve, and your goals. Now, uh, the problem, of course, the next step is to tell people what needs uh, you are fulfilling, right? And then comes the solution. Now, it is time to explain how you solve that problem. What solutions do you offer? Why are you approaching uh, these people, right? And then the benefits. The final step is to explain the benefits or, uh, of using your solution. And then some people say <laughs> that you will reach uh, your standard, your uh, ideal, but this is not right because we need to adapt our pitch. And how we can adapt our pitch? Please keep in mind that there is no one size fits uh, all pitch that works out for everyone. There is no universal pitch. There is no big secret. Okay. Instead, it would be best to tailor it to get uh, to your target audience. For example, if you pitch to an investor or a doctor, you know you should emphasize your company or business um, aspects that could be of interest of, of that person. Okay, so what we are sharing here are seven steps, seven points uh, to be applied, okay? So the first, do your, uh, do your research, try to be specific, be clear and concise, <laughs> absolutely, be passionate. We will see how we can be passionate in a, in a few moments. Practice, that's for sure. <laughs> focus, be focused on the benefits and be emotional and be persuasive. Okay, It's similar to be passionate, but it's not exactly the same. And we'll see why in, in a few slides. Okay, so let's uh, stop here for a moment because I want to share with you something. Look. Here. The first step of the classic approach is to get your audience atten attention, okay? And and the classic manuals uh, used to say the first step is to capture your, your audience attention. Okay, you can do this by telling a story, asking a question, or making a surprising surprising statement. Now I want to share with you a short video, okay? And let's think uh, about we, uh, what we see. I'm going to, uh, to stop sharing. And I will share my screen again. OK. In this video uh, from how, uh, how I Met Your Mother, Ted Mosby uh, tries to sell an idea, tries to uh, engage with uh, his group of friends. And uh, please um, try to spot and try to understand uh, <laughs> what they are trying to do, tell them, uh, tell him by uh, their faces. One second, please. Okay, excellent. Here we go. 
you guys are lucky you came here with an architect. Empire State Building fun fact number one. When construction began on March 17, 1930, the framework rose at a rate of four and a half stories per week. Four and a half stories per week. Four and a half stories per week. Wow. There it is, there it is. Come on, these are fun facts, guys. Let's have fun with them. Carl, did you know the word karaoke is Japanese for empty orchestra? Isn't that hauntingly beautiful? Here's a fun fact. See the Alberta building over there? Oh, the brown one or the gray one? That's the gray one. Did you know that any... So I think uh, you get the idea, <laughs> right? So I'll be, uh, I'm coming back to my presentation. Give me a sec, please. Okay. Here, back again. So how to adapt your page? That most this page needs to be adapted to the audience. Okay, why? Uh, because um, here is here is here is a question, a quick question for all of you. This is a a true a, a true fact, right? A true question. Do you know what the three most exciting topics for human beings are? Money, of course. <laughs> Sex. And oneself. Talking about oneself is our favorite topic, and there we have a golden opportunity to establish a connection with our conversation partner. So, the first step should be doing your research. Know your audience and their needs. What are they looking for? What are their concerns? Once you understand their needs, you can adapt your pitch to address them. And here is a very, very important point at the right side of your screens. What are their interests? For this, you can use social media. You can use social media to learn some aspects of your conversation partner that can help you find a topic of interest that you feel comfortable discussing. This natural conversation will gradually become more enthusiastic and lead to a display of interest on the part. So, be specific. You must be focused on the benefits your company of, uh, that you are offering to the audience. Okay, don't give a general description of your business. Instead, Tell listeners how your how your business can help them to achieve their goals. This is very important and um, usually overlooked. People tend to explain their businesses with tons of words. They do not go to the point. So try to do this exercise. Try to summarize your business, your idea, your approach. All of this in a few words. Okay, and this is the, <laughs> the, the, the key part of, of the pitching. Okay, try to get everything in a nutshell. Okay, so be clear and concise. That's for sure. Avoid, please avoid using technical jargon or complex words. Your pitch should be easy to understand, even for people unfamiliar with your industry. My main advice here is this one try to pitch or, or try to explain your business, your idea, for instance, to your parents or, grandpa or grandparents if they are still with us. Because they are, of course, <laughs> miles away from technical things. And if they can understand what you do, all your audience will do. So that's a, a perfect um, test for, for pitching. Be passionate, of course. You must live in your company or business, and your audience should be able to feel it. Okay, and here comes uh, an important, an important word, in my opinion. Your audience will be inspired, inspired to learn more. To to learn more. I apologize uh, for my accent. If you are passionate about your business. So you can speak with enthusiasm, that's for sure. Use your 
facile language or facile expression to emphasize your points, or maybe sharing personal stories about your business or company. I do. I do. I, I will share uh, some personal stories with you in a few slides. Okay. So this can be a, an example. Okay. Practice. That's for sure. Practice your pitch in front of a mirror or with friends or family, your granddad, your grandma. <laughs> Please tell him or tell her about your business and um, think about uh, his or her feedback. Okay. That will improve a lot that will boost uh, your, your pitch and your presentation be focused on the benefits no 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 words needed here <laughs> i think okay so please uh, think about the benefits uh, of your product or service for your target audience okay and be emotional use solid arguments and, da and data to support your claims by connecting emotionally this is very important with your audience you can tell them a story you can tell them a story or share an example anything okay sky's the limit so at the right side of your screen you can see some examples okay for instance uh, if you are pitch to a, if you are pitching to, a, to an investor or you know anyone so a set the sky is the limit here. So, how to practice? And this is a, a good point, a very important point. How to practice? How to practice your pitch? Some people say, I, I, I think it uh, was Leonardo da Vinci, but uh, I'm not sure about this, that uh, perf um, perfection makes... Uh, Details makes perfection. Details make perfection, but perfection is no detail. So practice practice makes perfect. So it's essential to practice your pitch as many times as possible to deliver to deliver it smoothly and naturally. So four uh, simple advices, a pieces of advice here: practice in front of a mirror or with friends or family, as said. Uh, a few moments before this will help you feel more comfy with your speech and identify areas for improvement that's for sure <laughs> try to record it and listen to yourself to identify areas for improvement that's uh, absolutely right and please uh, don't be shy about your accent for instance look at me <laughs> i have a spanish accent a strong spanish accent so it's okay. People won't care about that if you if you don't, okay? So practice with different people to get different perspectives. This is linked to what I already said before, a few moments before, about practicing with your grandma, your father, sister, um, cousin, friend from the industry, uh, you know, different uh, people, different perspectives. And practice. Try to practice in different settings, such as events, meetings, and interviews. Okay, because this will help you feel more comfy. This is the key: feeling more comfy in various situations. So, additional tips: be natural. That's for sure. Don't try to memorize your speech word by word for word. That's for sure. That's uh, very important and <laughs> very logical, in my opinion. Be passionate. Okay, it would be best if you believe in your business or idea, because if you don't do not, people won't believe uh, <laughs> about it, won't care about about it. Be concise, get to the point. Okay, avoid rambling. Okay, I love uh, talking and pitching about my idea, my business, me, 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 me. But that must be, that must be, <laughs> loves uh, that too and look at the, the face of the crowd. Eh? So be, be persuasive. You should be able to convince your audience that your business or, or idea is, is valuable. That's for, <laughs> for sure. But the, the most important thing here is the more you practice, the better your, be, your pitch will become. Okay, As you become more comfortable, comfy with it, you will be able to deliver it more effect, effectively <laughs> and persuasively. So this is a path to run together, okay? So don't give, don't give up. 
in the first, second, third attempt. Every attempt, it will make you better. So please uh, don't give up. Point four, how to respond to frequently asked questions. This is important. This is being important. This is very important. You should, you must, you should know, you must be prepared to respond to that questions that your audience may have about your business or, or idea. For instance, uh, here, are, here are some, some tips, okay? Transversal tips because uh, every business, every, every idea is unique and the questions are, <laughs> can be or are very different, okay? Well, but here are some tips uh, for, for responding to, to these questions, okay? First, be clear and concise. When, answer, uh, when, answer, when answering a question, be clear in your answer, in your response. Avoid rambling or going into details, okay? Avoid giving general answers because people do not like it. Stay positive. This, this is a very good one. Even if you are asked a challenging question, be positive. Don't become defensive or complain because that's an excellent opportunity to learn and grow. It's excellent. Be polite. Even if you're asked an annoying question, be polite. Avoid being rude or impolite because you are selling your idea. You are selling it with passion, with love. So please be polite. Okay? Be patient. Be patient if you are asked a question regarding a long response. Okay? And please don't interrupt uh, the people or, or become uh, impatient. So, uh, here are some specific examples of uh, frequently asked questions that your audience may have about your business or idea. So, please take a look, uh, take a look uh, at them and try to adapt them to and answer them uh, with your business or idea in mind. For instance, what does your company do? This is very important and you should be able to answer this question in a few words. Okay, this is a fundamental question that everyone should be able to answer. Who is your target? Uh, who is your target audience? Who is your company aimed at? What problems does your company solve for them? This is, at least in my opinion, what one of the most important questions. Okay, because if you are selling your idea to anyone. That person will uh, <laughs> will uh, ask you, okay, why are you approaching me, and not that uh, person from there or that you know? <laughs> what is your business model? How do you make money? That's a very good one. What about the go-to-market strategy? What are your goals? What do you want to What do you want to achieve with this company? And uh, here's a very good one. How do you differentiate yourself? from your competitors. Why do I have to listen to your idea and not his or her idea? What makes your company so unique as you are telling me? So please think about these questions and try to apply them to your business or idea. The more prepared you are uh, to answer these questions, the more your pitch will be, okay? Here are um, some additional tips for responding to frequently asked questions. First one, again, practice and practice and practice. Practice your responses. The more you practice, the more natural and fluid your answer will become. Second, be open to questions. Be bold and answer questions that you have yet to anticipate. And the most important thing, be humble. Don't be afraid to seek help. If you are unsure how to answer a question, don't hesitate to seek help from a friend, family member, or colleague. Or maybe you can say, hmm, that's a good question. I don't know. So I will reach you. I, I will be coming back to you in a few days or maybe tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. And I'll uh, give you some details or that's, that's great. That's excellent because it showcases your interest. 
okay? Because the focus focus is not on you. It's, it's on your um, oh, conversational partner, okay? So point five, how to be prepared, how to prepare yourself. Tips to prepare, to prepare yourself for, for giving your pitch. Practice again. <laughs> practice, practice, and practice. The more you practice, the more natural and fluid your speech will be. Be aware of your body language. Please record and practice in front of a mirror because your body language can, can convey as much as your words. So ensure it's positive and open. Third, this is linked to the previous one. Connect with your audience. Look, uh, look at them in the eyes and speak to them gently and pleasantly. Watch the pace. Refrain from cramming everything into your pitch. Allow your uh, allow your audience uh, time. It takes time to process what you are saying, and be open to question. Be humble. If you are asked a question, respond honestly and sincerely. Okay, because people will appreciate that. Some additional tips to prepare yourself for gaining your pitch to rock with your audience. <laughs> the first uh, one of them is know your audience. You remember what we already said a few uh, slides before? The most exciting topics for human being is oneself. Talking about oneself is what we, we what we like the most. Okay? So know your audience. Who are they? And what are their interests? What are their needs? Once you understand your audience, you can tailor pitch to make it more appealing to them. And again, you can use some uh, you can use social media for that. Imagine that I I, I know that I'm meeting tomorrow um, Thomas, for instance. I can check him. I can check his social media profiles, and maybe uh, I can understand that Thomas and me have many passions or things in common, and this will be very handy for um, bringing up and bringing up some topics and points of his, uh, of interest and opportunities to. Um, to speak to that, to engage with that person, okay? Be creative. Ballet point number two, feel free to get creative with your pitch. Use stories, humor, maybe, to make your speech more memorable, okay? All of us uh, have hobbies. Maybe you can play the guitar. Maybe you do some magic tricks. Why do not use them in your pitch? That, that could be great. Stay positive. Your attitude is um, contagious. If you are positive and enthusiastic, your audience will be too. And please, be yourself. Don't try to be someone you are not. People can see through that. Just be yourself and let your personality shine through your speech. For instance, in my, in my case, my accent. My accent is not good, but what I have learned from this previous months uh, or a year and a half working with uh, people in in a language in which I'm not comfy okay is that people don't care about the, that kind of thing so be yourself don't try I insist don't try to be someone you're not because you have many skills and many gifts that make you unique Point six, what about the fear? Fear. Well, fear is our main enemy, okay? And here's the key. The key is to transform fear, to transform fear, which paralyzes us into respect, which keeps us in a controlled state of alertness by applying these points, okay? Point one, fear makes us overthink and this is it we start to fantasize and become you know agitated things like that try to be try to be focused on something simple that way we 
can calm it down. Okay? But keep in mind that, that everything happens in our mind. We, uh, we start uh, thinking about a hypothetical danger and which doesn't exist at all, okay? So you can take small sips of water, okay? Because this will send a signal to your body that it uh, can calm down. Please be focused on your breathing, control breathing, okay? Don't try to breathe so fast. And shift from catastrophic thinking to constructive thinking. For instance, Please don't say or think, I might mess up. No, 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 no. Of course, all of us can mess up, but I will do my best. It's a best approach, okay? I will do my best, and I will do my best, and uh, I will do it with passion, and passion can be shared and can be felt uh, for your audience, okay? Do you, uh, this is better... To th this is not good to think something like they may realize I don't know everything. Think about this instead. I will show them my best version and they will love it. Okay? They are probably busy and may want to get the boy paying attention to me. Mm, this is not good. Maybe better think uh, or say this option. My idea is interesting and they will appreciate it. So the thing here is to shift from catastrophic thinking to constructive thinking, okay? Because uh, the thing here is to think that you're approaching a sea of opportunities. Okay, I missed, I missed, I already missed this one, but here is another one, another one, another one. So please uh, keep in mind uh, this. Point seven, how to use your pitch in the different situations. Your pitch can be used in a variety of situations. For instance, casual encounters. Eh? You imagine that you are at a party, an event, or any place. Okay, Your pitch can be a great way to introduce yourself and provide a brief descri description of yourself and what you're doing. For example, at the right side of your screen, you could say something like, hi, my name is Jorge, for instance, that's me, and I am the marketing specialist from Funding Box. I am, you know, <laughs> this is easy. And please, test, test, test. This is it. Job interviews. Your pitch can be a great way, a great way to make a positive impression on the interviewer or for instance, on conferences or events, a, a conference or an event, uh, you can use your pitch uh, to connect with others who share your interest. Presentations or, or, or speeches. So the thing here is to use your pitch in different situations. It's essential to adapt. It's uh, to the specific audience you are addressing. Remember, Use your social media. This is not about you. This is about their needs and how you can help them to solve and face their problems. Okay? How to create a pitch for a startup. Okay? An effective pitch can help you to get your to get the attention of investors, potential partners, and customers. Here are some tips, some tips for creating a pitch. But please remember, there is no big secret. There is no universal pitch. Okay. First, start with a clear and concise mission stat a statement. Tell them what is the purpose of your startup, what problems you're solving, and who is your target audience. Let them to understand your idea clearly. Okay. Be focused on the benefits of your products <laughs> or services, okay? Uh, be specific. And this is a good practice to use numbers and data to support your claims. Uh, your claim, claims. <laughs> this will make your pitch more credible. And add some visual points that um, are good to, to engage people, okay? 
be concise, obviously. Your pitch, okay, you, uh, here you say your pitch should last between 30 and 60 seconds. No, 30, yes and no. <laughs> 30 and 60 seconds is um, to showcase the um, key points, okay? And then you can say, this is for grabbing their attention, okay? And then you have to, uh, you must explain everything, being specific, okay? Focusing on the benefits, okay? And uh, the last one. Uh, practice again practice your pitch in front of a mirror or with friends or family your grandmother grandfather this will help you more confident okay following these tips you can create a pitch for your startup additional tips for creating a pitch use images and videos and videos to illustrate your point be passionate and enthusiastic Again, your passion for your startup will come across to your audience. And again, be yourself. Don't try to be someone you are not. This is very, very important. People can see through that. Just be yourself and let your personality shine through your speech. Elements to make uh, how which elements you can use to make your pitch memorable. Remember uh, what we already said, okay? There is no universal pitch that works for everyone. Instead, you should tailor it to the specific audience you are addressing. So uh, these are the key elements, the key ideas, influence, we are going to see how to make a perfect, maybe a very good pitch, maybe perfect is a very, a very big word, but a very good pitch, step by step, the use of storytelling, the emotional aspect of your speech. We will speak a little bit about the, the power of the language and about the visuals. So, key ideas. Winning uh, over, uh, over our interlocutors involves conquering them not only through reason, okay, but also through emotion. This is the key point here. It can be said most of uh, our decision, okay, are root in the in the mind. The human brain uh, uses only a small percentage of its energy for conscious activity, while the rest of the work is uh, subconscious okay we make decisions based on cost benefit and emotional factors emotional matters so we buy into ideas that truly conquer us which include the, which include uh, these four conditions talent commitment relational affinity and time so ask yourself please these four questions to what extent do you have differential talent? To what extent do you have time to dedicate to the project? These questions are very important and we help you uh, to think and uh, to get um, a more specific idea about what we about your business and how to showcase it. Okay. Influence. Influence is built from the beginning, from the second one. So the first impression is as important as the pitches itself. So here are some key points that uh, you could uh, keep in mind. First, uh, first, uh, first of all, address uh, the people by their name. You're not talking to guy one and guy, uh, guy two and guy three. You're talking to Alessandro, or maybe Thomas, or Anna, or so you are talking to people, okay? Convey a positive outlook. Say You can say something positive about the place you are in. And please try to make positive comments general, okay? And uh, show interest by asking questions with some, um, but try not to be interested. 
example of this kind of questions uh, could be this one. For instance, for instance, the design of these offices is very good, very very nice. Has any particular style inspired you? Besides uh, consultancy, consultancy, marketing consultancy, for instance, what other lines of business do you offer? Okay. And uh, the most important thing: avoid complaining at any cost. Sometimes we make trivial comments that end up having an impact on others. So please, no complaints. No, no, no. Only positive things. Okay. And uh, okay, here are um, the steps to make uh, a good pitch. Okay. So you can start with a compelling statement, uh, statement or statistic. You can create them a need based on a problem. Then you introduce yourself, briefly present your proposal, highlighting the benefits, and then make a call to the action. Okay, invite them to do something huh? to engage with you. So there is an example. Okay, but this uh, showcases the structure that uh, it I um, go the structure okay so the perfect pitch first point uh, first bullet point start with a compelling statement uh, or a statistic for instance this study by the World Health Organization found that sitting for more than eight hours a day is linked to several health problems, including obesity, heart disease, and cancer. So this is a compelling st statement. Yeah, absolutely, or statistic. OK. Then create a need based on, that pro uh, on a problem, which is linked to the uh, st statement, OK? For instance, sitting for long periods can also lead to fatigue, decrease productivity, blah, 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 blah. Then introduce yourself. My name is XYZ and I'm the founder of XYZ. We are passionate, remember? Passion. We are passionate about helping people improve their health and productivity through physical activity. And then you can present your proposal. We have developed this app to help you stay active and productive through the day. Now you can highlight the benefits. In a few words, it has been shown to increase productivity by up to blah, blah, and reduce fa uh, fatigue by up, blah, blah. Users also brought feeling, da, da, da. Okay, and then you can make a call to action. And this is very important. If you have a few minutes tomorrow, and since I'll be in Madrid, you can see how simple and practical our application is. Would it be better for you in the morning or, or in the afternoon? You are not asking him or her if he wants to um, meet you. No, 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 no. <laughs> you are giving them two options, but both options are the same. We are going to meet, but you can choose when. Tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Okay, this is a uh, this is the point here. Storytelling, and here comes a, at least in my opinion the most important slide of this presentation. We'll possess elements that set us apart and make us better than the rest. Okay, this is essential to analyze and understand these elements. Okay, experience, passion, certifications, clients, technologies, think capabilities, anything you wish. You can talk about how you started your project, acquired your first client. Uh, you, you can say anything, but please, the first and most important thing is to analyze yourself and be proud of yourself you can you have here an example in the right side of your screen or for, for instance my my personal storytelling when when i see myself in the mirror i can see 
I have many features that I don't like, absolutely, but make me unique, okay? So I understood that uh, I could add uh, those uh, features to create a good storytelling for my own for my own pitch. For instance, I've always I've always been interested in da data management, okay, which led me to work in the gaming industry. That that's absolutely uh, absolutely true. I was in the gaming industry, okay, first as an analyst and later helping casinos detect cheaters, initially in Europe and then in the USA or even Asia. I even wrote a book on the subject. Later, my mother fell ill and I had to come to Almeria. At that moment, I discovered that my life's motivation was to help others. So currently, I'm dedicated to the most beautiful profession in the world, assisting others in securing the financing key they need to bring their projects, their projects or their ideas to life. So this, that would be my, my storytelling. And this is it. You can you can do uh, by analyzing yourself and your value proposition and your skills and your whatever you know the emotional aspect of your speech. And this is uh, this is something we have uh, pointed out uh, many times. Uh, but this is important to a good point to to talk about. Okay, uh, to appeal to universal emotions in your speech, making um, people experience or speech more, in um, more intense. Okay, we can use videos or images, stories, so whatever. Okay, and here's a very important point, the power of language. We rely on our language to connect with others, positive words, Leads, uh, lead to positive feelings or language should convey two sensations, trust and security. Are you in a bad times instead of, instead of can you talk? Are you very busy instead of did you have a minute? I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I just wanted to mention something, some ideas to, to think about. Here we have uh, some techniques uh, for persuasive language uh, that you may uh, found, uh, find useful. For instance, state one or two obvious things that have really happened, adding a third that you want the other person to consider as true. For instance, now that we have met, this is true, and you know what we do, this is true. Let me introduce to Marine Blue one of the most promising projects in the tech market right now. Okay. And this statement is a statement that I want the other person to consider as true. Okay. Second, prompt someone to consider something as possible and real. To do this, mention this fact immediately after stating another obvious one happening at that moment. For example, while you're looking at this brief catalog, you can see the importance of high quality in all the products we, we do <laughs> or we make. Third one, establish cause and effect relationships. Okay. For instance, taking care of our children's health, health is taking care of their future. Plan thoughts, ideas, or reflections in people's mind using experience specific expression such as uh, i imagine you are aware of the importance of diversifying a large company a large company's business for instance you, you can use generalizations to prevent your uh, interlocutor from raising a defensive wall against your discourse you can use nominalization many things to use and many many ideas here to get the most uh, out of them and the visuals very important uh, use your body when speaking, okay? Remember that you are not crafting the pitch to please yourself, as we said in, in some slides before, okay? But to appeal someone else. Here, uh, you can see some gestures to avoid and some gestures to perform, okay? Some pretty obvious, but 
please uh, think about them and use them and feel free to um, to consult uh, the bibliography or okay, the bibliography okay to uh, spot some manuals on these topics because uh, this on this topic because it is very useful so you can see the the references here and um, this is it and with all this uh, um, presentation in mind, let's make a quick uh, walkthrough and uh, let's uh, put everything in order, okay? So I will be coming back uh, to the first one and I will meet, I, I will do a, a, a quick walkthrough, okay, with uh, and pointing out some, some interesting facts or, or things. So, about preparation, uh, about uh, how to prepare your page. As we already said, this is the classic approach, but this is not enough because this classic approach is focused on yourself, not, not in your audience, okay? So, Okay, these steps are, are very good, but keep in mind, please, don't be focused on yourself because then you will get the same result as that Mosby uh, did, already did, uh, okay, in the video that uh, we we watched uh, some some minutes ago. So grab the, your audience attention, introduce yourself, but please be focused, not in yourself, but uh, in the problem or the need you're solving, the problems, solution, and benefits, showcase benefits. Okay, the thing here is to be able to adapt your pitch. How, please, doing your research, okay? Be Being specific, be clear, concise, be passionate, okay? Two keywords, main keywords here. Do your research and be passionate, and a third one, Please practice, practice, and practice, okay? Do your research. Remember, you can use social media to learn more about the people you are going to meet the next day or the next week to, in order to establish that connection, uh, that emotional uh, link, okay? Based on uh, your common interest. Be specific. Be clear and concise, absolutely. Uh, for being uh, concise uh, and clear, please uh, try to uh, have a clear idea of your business approach, about what you do, you know, that kind of things. Be passionate. You must love what you do. If you want to people love your business, please <laughs> love your business before. Show them how they can love your business or idea, okay? And practice, 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 practice. Remember, uh, perfection, details make perfection, but, but perfection makes no detail. Be focused on the benefits, that's for sure, and be emotional, okay? Because we are pointing to the motions of, uh, of our audience. How to practice? This is the key point here. Practice, practice, practice. We because we are facing a sea full opportunities. Okay? Practice uh, makes perfect. So it's essential to practice your pitch as many times as possible. Okay? Practice in front of a mirror and try to practice with family and friends which are not familiar to your industry, okay? If they do understand what you sell and your value proposition, everyone will do. Uh, be natural, okay? Don't try to memorize your speech. Be passionate and try to be persuasive, okay? Frequently ask uh, questions, um, okay, they are very important and they, they will arise. Try to be prepared to face them, but please stay humble. And if ask uh, an, an, an unexpected question, please stay humble because this is an excellent opportunity to learn and grow and people will appreciate that. So here are some tips, 
as we already said, um, practice, be open to questions. Don't be, and this is very important, don't be afraid to seek help, okay? Uh, some tips uh, about how to prepare yourself. Practice your pitch, be aware of your body language, connect with your audience, please look at them, the eyes, okay? Because uh, people, it's more comfortable when, you know, when staring them at the, at the eyes, okay? What's the rhythm, the pace, and be open to questions. The fear, the fear, the point here to deal with fear is to understand that fear, that fear makes, uh, makes us overthink, okay? We tend to fantasize with an hypothetical danger that never happens okay so i'm adding here and on ballet point four a video okay that it's uh, a, a very good resource this is a bit long that uh, that's why i'm not uh, sharing now but please uh, take a look i uh, take a look at the, uh, at it because it's 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 good it's uh, about the person explaining an audience why he's the best Okay, so the moral of the history is at the, at the end of the video. He explains he is the best being himself. So please don't try to be anyone you are not. Please be yourself because no, not because be yourself and try to be the best version of yourself because you are you are so unique. Okay, and people will appreciate that. Point seven, how to use your pitch in different situations. Okay, you can use your pitch whenever, whenever and wherever you want. Okay, casual encounters, job interviews, conferences or events, presentations, speeches. The key point here is to understand that um, you, are, you are facing a sea of opportunities. Okay, you, you can miss or you can fail in the, in the first and second and the third one okay but that chances are opportunities to learn and be closer uh, to your best person okay the pitch for the startup okay start with a clear and concise mission statement be focused on the benefits use numbers and data okay to to engage with your audience be concise and to the point and practice again. Practice, practice, and practice. <laughs> this is the point here. Elements to make our pitch memorable. What can we use? Influence, uh, storytelling this is very important. And appealing to emotions, okay? Please uh, use, uh, select uh, the best words to to spread uh, your message and please uh, the visuals keep in mind that uh, the visuals are very important too so um, at least in my opinion this is um, everything so uh, thank you thank you very much for uh, being here today so this is it. Thank you very much for joining us and have a, a wonderful day.